Hello, my name's Tony and welcome back to Predicted. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about two fragrances from Cadillac Perfumes and they are one for him and one for her and they are Shiaka for woman and Shiaka for man. So if you wanna hear about these, stay right where you are. Right, so let me just show you the presentation of Shiaka for woman why I run through the notes with you. So in the top we have Plumeria, Peony, and in the mid we have Lily of the Valley, and in the base we have Amber. So as you can see, not many notes. So what does it open like? So it opens with a sweet, tropical, fruity, floral scent to it. It's very sweet and a little sharp too. I think the Plumeria and the Peonies add in that sort of tropical fruity flower smell to it. It almost smells a little peachy. So quite a ripened fruit smell to it, but I would say it's also very floral. So to try and describe it a little better, I would say it is like you are in the Caribbean with a very ripened fruit cocktail sitting in an exotic flower garden that is full of bloom. I would say the opening is a little synthetic, but it does start to change a little bit on the skin and soften. And it softens quite quickly. I would say after around sort of 10, 15 minutes, it does soften down a little bit. Be careful with this, how much you spray, because it's really, really powerful stuff. It really does project and perform very well. So you don't want to overdo it because it could become a little bit overwhelming, not just for you, but for others around you as well. To my nose, it does smell a little bit feminine, but personally, I'm happy to wear it. I've worn it a couple of times, and although it is quite floral, I think because of the fruit, I quite like it. It doesn't smell like anything I've tried. I haven't figured out if this is a clone of anything yet. I'll be intrigued to know because it is a really, really nice smelling scent. I would say it performs better than most designer fragrances. And this just costs 25 pounds for 100 ml and it's an EDP concentration. So if you want a long lasting, quite strong, feminine, fruity fragrance, Give this a go because I think it's incredible value. This performs quite well. It's fruity, it's floral in the opening. In the dry down, it starts to become a little bit musky. It goes almost a little powdery on the skin. There's also a sweetness, which I haven't quite worked out from the notes. Now, I know there's amber listed, but I don't really get an amber note, but there is something in there giving it to some depth as well as the musk. It goes almost slightly vanillic in the deep dry down, but it's not vanilla. It doesn't smell like vanilla, but it's got this sort of underlying sweetness running through the whole composition. So a really enjoyable fragrance to wear. I think cracking value for money. Some might say the bottle looks quite gaudy. I actually quite like it. It looks quite nice in Becca's collection. It stands out. I think it also complements the men's version very, very well. So they make a nice pairing. Just like me and Bex. Should we move on to the men's one? Let's do that. So this one, Shiaka for men, it's a Cadillac. And let me show you the bottle why I run through the notes. So in the top, it has Pettigrain, Rosemary and Pink Pepper. In the mid, it has Yangalang, Neroli, Oris Root and Jasmine. And in the base, it has Cedar, Vetiver, Patchouli and Sandalwood. I've taken a little while to actually review this. I've had it in my collection for some time and it's taken me a long time to review. And the reason for that, I see a few reviews come out around the same time as I was gonna review it too. And I think we all would have been saying similar things. So I've just left it a little while and tried to get to know it a little bit better to see if I can get anything else from it. But you are gonna hear some things that you've heard in other reviews if you've watched them. This does smell a lot like Reflection Man. The notes are exactly the same, so it is a clone of that. But there is another fragrance that I found that looks very similar. And I will put the bottle here. So as you can see, they look very similar. That is from 
Arabian Oud and it's called Amiri and that also shares a lot of the notes that are in this. So I'm not sure if they're trying to copy Reflection Man, but the bottle is very, very similar to Amiri, which I've never smelled. So I can't tell if it smells anything like it, but it, I'm quite intrigued to see if it does. So the comparison to Reflection Man is very accurate. It does smell a lot like that. What I would say about Reflection Man is though, it is a lot creamier in the opening. The blend's a lot smoother. This has a lot more sharpness to it. It has a lot more punch to it as well. This is definitely a little bit crisper in the opening. If you were looking for a Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance that was better performing, lasts longer, has more shout about it, then this might be right up your street because it's got a lot more going on, but it shares that touch of DNA. Now, so Jean-Paul Gaultier has also got lavender and vanilla, which this hasn't got. So there are some differences. This isn't as sweet as that, I would say, but it does share a similar DNA. So I get a sharp floral, a white floral opening. I get lots of jasmine and I get lots of iris too. But the iris is a the almost like the petal. It's that almost medicinal, clean, white smell that you get from iris rather than oris butter. So it's not creamy in that respect. It smells very clean though. It is quite a clean and fresh smelling fragrance. This would work really well all times of year. You could dress it up, you could dress it down as well. So I would say it's very, very versatile. The Yang Alang and the Petagrain, I think are adding a little bit of sharpness to it. It's got a little hint of spice from the pink pepper and the rosemary. It doesn't go herbaceous, it just gives you this hint, this tiny hint of sweet spice. The pink pepper and the rosemary have this little tickle to the nostrils. So once the florals and the spices start to settle down, it starts to become a little bit woody and a little bit earthy. It still has this sharp sweetness to it that runs throughout the whole wearing. I also get a little bit of white musk in there as well. Now I might be getting that completely wrong, but it, it has a similar powdery nature to the women's version. It's almost got some sort of airy or muskiness to it. So it might have some aldehydes, it might have some white musk in there. It's got something that helps it stick to the skin and it stays there. The performance on this one is incredible as well, especially if you get it on clothes. It will last for hours and hours. It's quite loud in the opening, but you can even smell it in a really nice bubble around you for most of the day. It's a really long lasting fragrance. Great value for money again, 25 pounds. It's again 100 ml and it is an EDP concentration. So you get a lot of bang for your buck with this, I think. I also get something else in this that's making it slightly synthetic, maybe some ISOE Super or some Ambroxine. There's something in there that's just giving it this slight metallic -y almost synthetic nature, but it's not anything that's bothering me or make or pushing it too far. It is very likeable, it's very sweet and a very, very nice fragrance for the money. So that has been my take on Shiaka for man and Shiaka for women. I hope you liked my review. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment, have you tried these? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, that'll be fantastic, thank you. I'll see you again in the next one. Don't forget to keep smelling wonderful.